Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogast Blind Mushrooms. This is the same episode, or if this is a different episode. Let's do this. It's half past one. I have until about five to finish this game. We can do this. <laughs> I really do feel like we're almost at the end, because, I mean, we, we know everything now. We know all about Graf, we know all about Faye, we know about Deus, which, by the way, I've been pronouncing wrong. That's not important. Um... Yeah, so I think I think probably we just have to go kill Zohar and Deus and that'll be it. I don't know if there's more. I, it's probably another disc, isn't there? Isn't there? Been lied to this whole time. Everyone's like, oh, disc two is incomplete. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, there's a third disc. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, so um, I just finished um, editing... Um, well, not really editing as such, but re-watching um, yesterday's recording session, which was everything before this episode. <laughs> I mean, like, it was like everything from the Miang battle to here. Um, so I got to re... like... <laughs> got to re-experience the Fae thing, which was just great. Um, yeah, so there's, like, stuff that I picked up on that I didn't pick up on at the time. Most of it was just kind of clarification stuff, which I kind of had gotten a gist of, the, the gist of, but now I, like, I properly understand, um, like, uh, the thing about Miang being deus and awakening within women and stuff. Um, uh, also the stuff about Zohar being the power thing and what the hell the terminal interface weapon is and all this kind of stuff that I, I, I kind of got, but now I, I kind of more properly get. Um, also there was a part with Graf. Uh, they were saying about how Graf like takes over bodies of his descendants and stuff and things. Um, uh, which at the time I didn't really get. I think I get it now. Like, from what I understand at the moment, I'm not sure if it will be explained more, but from what I understand at the moment, um, Graf is not really like a physical thing. He's more like a spirit kind of thing that just exists forever. Um, and, um, yeah, instead of, yeah, because he like split at some point and like, like, Lacan split, and <laughs> he became Graf, like, after he met with the existence or whatever, he split, and he, um, there was, he, like, turned into Graf, but then the, like, other, other half of his soul or whatever became all the reincarnations or inc incarnations of, um, of Fae, whatever. Um, so that's why they exist at the same time. Um, that's ex at least what I think is what was being said. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, there was the graph thing. Oh, I think I also discovered why Lacan looks exactly like Faye or the other way around. Um, cause they said that, um, that graph was searching for, you know, the, the person to put his power into or whatever. Um, and, and, and they said that Faye was like the perfect, the perfect reincarnation of his physical being or whatever. So, the, so it, Lacan and Faye probably do just look the same. I'm not sure about Ellie, though. But yeah, um, I think anyway. That's that's what I took away from that. I don't know if that's right or not. Um, I was a little confused about when Faye met with the existence, and they were talking about the fourth dimension and stuff. I I, I like reread that scene like a couple times, and it's, I I think I get it. I think I get it. I think, like Deus and Zohar, like kind of like grabbed the existence or the actual god or whatever from this other thing through the oh no into the fourth dimension, which is where Faye is at the moment, I think. Um, and they want to, you know, get back to being in the place they're supposed to be. And in order to do that, they have to combine Faye's powers with Ali's powers, which is like, like the existence was split into them and stuff. I'm not quite sure how Faye met 
the existence, like current Faye, when he was a kid, he met the existence, and then that brought upon, well, that, I mean, that brought about Allie, with their mother's will, or something, um, because that, like, happened after Faye, I mean, after Lacan turned into Graf, but Graf met the existence in order to turn into, I mean, Lacan met with the existence, turned into Graf, but then, but then someone already met with, with the exist. It's I don't really understand the timeline, but maybe it's supposed to be timey wimey, something. I don't know. Anyway, let's just play. I'm sure it, maybe it will be explained. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, let's go. I'm done talking now. When the silence. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready for this to end. I mean that like in a good way, not in like, oh, I won't it end. Just, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm also kind of sad, but I'll talk about that later. That's Myung's gear, isn't it? I'm sorry, did Ed's gear just turn it? Dad. I'm sorry, did, 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 did Ed's gear just turn into... Dad, are you okay? What just happened? Dad, I'm sorry, this is all my fault. Faye? You've returned to your own self. You've become one. Yes, thanks to you all. If all of you hadn't called out to me. Ugh. Dad! Don't worry. This is good. This is, after all, I... Dad? You and... You and I must become one. What? Oh, it's Graf. You and I must become one. Huh? G Graf? What's going on? Did... Okay, wait. Wait. Did... <laughs> I'm sorry. Did his dad just turn into Graf? Wait, was it Graf pretending to be his dad, or did Graf just appear suddenly and his dad's still there? They were saying that Graf wanted to put his power or whatever into present face, so I guess that's what he's trying to do right now. I should just shut up and actually just play the game. Jesus Christ, Moza. <laughs> ha ha. I reached the limit of the body I possessed on that day three years ago. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, he possesses. his... Oh, so he possessed him as a child. That's how he had the power. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Because that would make sense. I required a body that would tide me over until your true awakening. That is why I... Oh, that's why he was, like, trying to kill him in that scene. Uh... Oh my god, wait. <coughs> oh Jesus, I injured myself. Has wise man this whole time been Graf? I'm sorry. No. That's not allowed. No, because wise man is a good... Th now I'm just like thinking back to the first time that we saw wise man and he was all like... Kind of... Wasn't he saying shit about his father or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, my PlayStation 2 has a lot of dust on it. Anyway, um, not that I'm playing this on PS2, but it's in front of me. And it's not normally light in here, and I can like see the dust. It's disgusting. I need to clean that at some point. Anyway. <clears throat> that is why I acquired the body of your father. Regardless of your awakening, your merging, and the inherited memories you had acquired... Okay. There was no way for you to know of this, since you had lost your memory at that point. At the point in which I merged with your father. Impossible. What about wise man? What about father? Oh my god. Of course they were just parts of me. I couldn't hold on to Khan totally. His ego was far stronger than I imagined. When my control weakened, he showed himself to you as wise man. Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, so that wasn't Graf just being a weirdo. <laughs> like, but his fa- okay. Ah! Oh, oh, he- oh, I didn't even realize he was, like, holding him up by his throat. Look at him convulsing, oh my god. You have awakened. This body is now useless to me. Now I must return to my original body, the reincarnation of my body that you inhabit. Stop it! Dad! I hear you, Faye. You see, he and I are one. I am Khan. Khan is me. He has become one with me, so you too should open your heart and unite with me. Then we can go on to eliminate everything. No! I can't allow you to control me. Whoa. I'm sorry, what is happening? Wait, did Wiseman come in this gear? <laughs> did I just like not notice at all that it was Graf's gear? Or did it just transform just now? Because... <laughs> How could I have not noticed it was Graf's gear all this time? No, no, there's no... Because <laughs> like that massive red thing on top of it and its weird little face. I don't even... By the way, I still haven't figured out what the hell is going on with Graf's face. Like... Where, I mean, like, I understand he's wearing a mask, but, like, where are the eyes and the mouth and stuff? It, it's, like, I can't tell if, like, there are two little white things on the left-hand side. I can't tell if that's the eyes, and he's kind of, like, looking all kind of, like, like a ninja or something else. Or if the big red, the, the, the big orange thing is one of his eyes, and then, like, further down, there's, like, there's kind of, like, a gap. Is that his mouth? And then, like, his nose is, like, the little bit... Like, I, I, like, I, don't, I, can't, I can't figure out what this mask is. It's really... I can't tell what it is. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry. In the middle of the scene. I'll just... <laughs> hmm. Protecting your master. Then so be it. I'll merge with both you and your machine, then. Now come, Faye. Fight me. It's no use. I know you're Lacan and that you're a part of me, but that doesn't change you being my father. It's a weird sentence. I can never really fight you. You're so naive. Why don't you understand that your naivety, your naivete, is what killed Sophia, what killed your mother Karen? I already know that. That's why I swore never to run away again. But I must rescue Ellie. So don't get in my way. Wake up. Open your eyes, father. Lacan. Lacan. If that's the case, then fight me. Fight me. I can't. I see. Then there's no choice. Hmm? Since you are so unwilling to fight, I believe I'll have to use them as bait. It's much more. Stop it! Don't we have the same memories? Can't you also remember that sadness you felt way back then? Why then? Why must you destroy everything? If we stop Deuce, won't this all be over? I mean, Deus? <laughs> you still don't understand. Even at. E oh. <clears throat> you still don't understand. Even after your contact with the existence. I came to understand after my contact with the existence that, even if Deus was destroyed, as long as humans still inhabit this land, Miyang, Elheim, will be born, will be born time and again. Then all living things may as well perish along with Deus itself. That's the only path to freedom. The path to release us from the eternal cycles of life, the tragedies of history and the spell of fate. Once I awaken Deus as a weapon, I'll obliterate all living things. Then I'll use your awakened self and that machine to return everything to nothing. That's what I concluded. Miyang and Elheim, and not just Deus's mouthpieces, 
That woman is, it, is its main body, yes, which disturbs me very much. Why can't you see that? That's not true. She gave her life for me by shielding me from harm. Her eyes weren't Miyoung's. Mother came back at the last moment. Miyoung, mother, even Ali, we're all humans born on this planet. Deus doesn't matter. You'll see. I will bring Ali back. Father, no, Graf, Lacan, if you won't back down. Never. Then I have no choice. Oh, he grew the wings. His uh, gear is quite the something. The time has come to truly become one. That rhymed. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not. True Weltall! Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah, because he's all like. a thing. Oh, he has so much health. Look at it all. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do we have? Oh, I can't become Ed. Well, I guess that makes sense. Okay, I guess we'll just attack. Here we go. That didn't do very much damage, True Weltall. Who are you? What kind of a gear are you? I don't know which one I prefer. They both look so cool. Look at them. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. His, his is true. Well, tall. I'm a dumb. I thought his gear was called Alpha Well Tall. Why is it? What? D doesn't it look the same as the Alpha Well Tall? I thought it was the name of us, but I guess not. We have quite the wings on us, though. Look at that. Do you mind? Could you not? I have so much fuel. Can you not have two turns in a row? Can I please go into infinity mode now? That would be really good. I'd appreciate that very much. Come to me, infinity mode. Look at my wings, they're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Stupid Lacan. Oh, I'm in infinity mode. Yeah, that was fast. Let's go. Go ten X. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought he died already. <laughs> oh, I'm still in it. Oh, of course I am. Of course I am. Is there an X move when you're in uh, when you're in Affinity? Because uh, like, it doesn't come up, so I've never tried it. Maybe I'll try it now. Oh, there isn't. Oh, I can't even select it. Okay, it's strange uh, that there's no X. That, that, that thing in the background? Oh, okay. That's the noise he made. That was easy. Too easy. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Why don't you finish me off? If you don't get rid of me, then you cannot get what you want. It's all right, Dad. I understand. You are not Graf. You are my father. You and Graf are one. Your will and purpose never change. I knew that once we fought, but let's stop now. Our objectives should be the same. It is the same as our becoming one. We don't have to fight. Uh, ah! What? My body! Zohar is after you, the last piece to combine with Deus' system. It seeks to unify with you, the first to have been divided from it. The first to have been divided from it? I thought, like, the Gazelle Ministry were the first, or Miang or someone. But okay. What? This is what Lacan wanted all along. After all, I'm an imperfect. I'm an imperfect existence. It was inevitable that it would come to this, considering what had happened in the past. Lacan's imperfect secondary contact with the wave existence split his personality into two. Yeah, yeah. 
Eventually his body died, but the original Lacan transmigrated. Bringing the destiny of becoming a contact with him, he was reborn as your prison body. Yay, I was right! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm okay. The remaining persona, just his desires, lived on separately by possessing the bodies of others, which is Graf. That is Graf. <laughs> Thank you. That is me. I'm so proud of myself for working that out. Yay! <laughs> well, not really. I mean, it was, it was explained. It was just explained in a vague way. Anyway, I may have inherited Lacan's will, but I'm not the same as the contact Lacan. It was impossible for me to make real contact. There would be no true melding and release. No true what? Even though our bodies may be different, I am still half of you. That fact remains. Although I'm imperfect, I can merge temporarily with Zohar and thus be able to buy you some time. Time. Ah, you're helping us now. <laughs> this is the only way I can be one with you. You know what? A real long time ago, I was like, I bet Graf is his father. <laughs> and then, and then they were like, Graf is Lacan, and I was like, ah, never mind then. <laughs> Graf is Lacan. He was his father. I was right, <laughs> but not really. Not really. It, it, it was. It, it was more that, like, because I was thinking that his father was Graf, but really Graf is his father. Like it's slight different semantics, but <laughs> that's that, that just funny. It's funny that he is him, except not in the way at all that I thought he would be him. Oh, this game! Anyway, <clears throat> this is the only way I can be one with you. This is all I can do. Deus' system will start to look for you again. Before then, you have to destroy the newly perfected Deus and the Zohar modifier. See, it's interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like talking in the middle of the scene. I'm processing. It's interesting because. The first time that you really see Graf not being a dick face <laughs> is when Faye and Ellie are hurt, um, like at the beginning of Disc 2, or the end of Disc 1. Um, beginning of Disc 2, I think. And you see Graf standing there watching, and then that's it, and then he like goes to see Melchior, and Tauron is Melchior, Tauron is like his first name. <laughs> oh, which I did not know. It's really stupid. Um, yeah, so it's just like, I don't know, it, it, it's like you kind of get little hints that he's not all bad. It's um, I shouldn't talk about this now. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, before then you have to destroy the newly perfected deus and- okay. Right. You're the only one that can destroy the physical barrier that encases God's body. Dad. As you said, that was Karen. For many generations, Miyoung is beginning to break free from her bond bounds. Now that Elheim is merged with Deus, she has all of her memories back. All the memories from her original birth as the contacts com co complement up to her current transmigration. That that includes all of the lives she has lived as Miyoung and her substitutes over the centuries. And of course, that includes your mother's memories too. Your mother's memories? Faye, cut away all the binds on mankind. You should be able to do that now. Save her and all the other women bound with her. I'm begging you, Faye. What's this? The pendant, right? This pendant. Is this Sophia's? Or my mother's? Hmm? It's nothing. I'm just talking to myself. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused everyone. Thank you all so much. Anyway, let's get going. 
There is little time left now for me and for our planet. What is this place? This is where it all started. This is our genesis. We, no, humans were born here. Long ago, Deus crash landed on this planet in an interplanetary colony, c colony ship. I like how Fate just knows everything now. Uh, long ago, Deus crash. It's funny because, like, all the way through the rest of the game, he's like, kind of like one step behind everyone. Like, oh, I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna state the obvious things. And like now, he's all like, I know all the things. Um, which makes sense because before he was like an incomplete person. So, long ago, Deus crash landed on this planet in an interplanetary colony ship. Yes. In order to revive itself someday, Deus detached the Zohar modifier's core. Zohar. Yes. After this core unit came down here, a single woman awoke and arose from out of it. I remember this, yes. She's the mother of all humanity. After she awoke, she used all her power to bear several beings. I, I, actually, I really appreciate that he's re-explaining everything. It's kind of annoying, means I didn't have to re-watch all the stuff earlier today. These would become the ancestors of the whole of humanity. These were the Emperor and the Gazelle Ministry. Oh, I see. Okay. Finally, she gave birth to replicas of herself to be humanity's caretakers. Right. Two selves. The human mother and the weapon. The subject and the complement. That is Ali and Myung. So there are two mothers. <laughs> okay. I, the sole survivor from the colony ship. Oh. Oh. Was that explained? Because I didn't pick up on that. Oh, that explains. But he was a kid though, I'm guessing. God, that's fucking terrible. Uh, no wonder he was looking for his mother or whatever. Oh, and that's why he was like in the... Oh, okay. Alright. And this is where, this is where he met her, because there's that thing that he saw in the eye or whatever. That, like, the, the green thing with the little things coming up. <laughs> Sorry, it's just all... Oh. Like someone turned on a light or something. I get it. Anyway, <clears throat> I, the sole survivor from the colony ship, met Ali, and everything started from there. The land of Genesis, Cardomini. This is that place. So it was those two who gave, well, not gave birth, but like that created uh, the Nana Colony. What was her name? Uh, uh, Emeralda. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, because they were like, oh, we'll not give you our child or whatever. With him in the lab coat and stuff. Which I kind of like already figured out, but now I know for sure, right? <laughs> right? So that must be related to this as well. But like, it makes sense how they're able to create a nana colony with Ali. Because Ellie is Miyang, whatever, so she's all got all the, the things and the stuff and the replicating abilities or whatever, I guess. Anyway, this is that place. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, but Faye, even with your shared fate with Deus, why do you have such ancient memories? I wish I realized that that's how you say his name earlier. It sounds so much cooler as Deus than it does as Deuce, like I was saying it. I, I like couldn't for the life of me figure out another way to say it, but of course it's Deus. I'm a dumb. Like deity, right? Anyway, I don't know if that's related, but still. Anyway, um, even with your shared fate with this, why do you have such ancient memories? Usually, human memories cannot be passed down through the generations. Humans do not normally have the ability to compress and store memories in their introns. But Ali and I, and Miyoung, are different. Due to our connection with the wave existence, yeah, which is the fourth dimension thing. That is, due to Zohar's ability to change possible phenomena. 
Oh. Oh yeah, because isn't like the fourth dimension supposed to be time, or is it? I mean sound. No, 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 no. Yeah, is isn't the fourth dimension time? Or, or theorized to be time or something. So that makes sense then. So basically, Zohar can change the past and the future or whatever. I think. That is, due to Zohar's ability to change possible phenomena, we can clearly store data in our introns. In other words, we can leave behind memories to be inherited by us, by our descendants. Just as the wave existence is bound inside of Zohar, the information is affixed to me, so to speak, by some of the power of the wave existence. By some of the power... What? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. For some reason, this scene, like, I don't mean like the scene, like the stuff that's been said, but like the like the fit, like the like what we can see, <laughs> reminds me of um. Is it called Rocket Town in Final Fantasy Seven? Is that actually what it's called? Yeah, but you know, it's a place with a rocket. Anyway. <clears throat> Then this is... This is the form from when Ali and Miyang were still one being. This is the first woman of our world. It looks like the Emperor. <laughs> our mother. That does not look like a woman. But okay. <laughs> Ew, it's so creepy looking. I don't want to see it. Can we not zoom in on it please? Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> is this is this the new Yggdrasil? Because like, didn't it combine with something <laughs> or something? Oh, it looks so cool! Look at it. Oh man, it's like all of Bart's dreams have come true. Oh, Mason's here and stuff too. Anyway, <clears throat> so if we destroy that Zohar thing, everything will be over, right? Yes. Source of our ether powers and the source of power for the generators that make our gears work. Source of our ether powers and the source of power for the generators that make our gears work. It all comes from the Zohar modifier engine which can control any potential phenomena. If we destroy it, Deus and the Seraph Angels will all be deactivated. And then we should also be able to free Ellie, who has become bound to the Deus weapon system as Mi Young. Right, Faye? Yeah, that's what the wave exi that's what the wave existence said. But then did de oh the wave existence is oh I thought the wave existence was the dimension, but I guess it's I guess it's just the the light thing he was talking to. But then there is the downside. It will also mean that we will no longer be able to use our gears or our ether powers anymore. But that's not really much of a like a problem, is it? <laughs> What are those Seraph Angels all about, anyway? Rikla has been getting so many lines lately, it's really strange. Like... He, he hasn't really had much of a presence in the rest of the game, it's like all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, he gets all the... all the dialogue. It's really bizarre. That odd appearance as if they lack something, as if they were neither living beings nor mere weapons. Okay. Zohar sends the human consciousness and incarnates the seraphs. Human consciousness? Zohar itself involves the principle of uncertainty. What? The observer's perception of Zohar determines the entity it actually becomes. In other words, I believe that those angels are incarnations of the spirits of people. The people who have been absorbed by Deus to become parts of it. So what merit is there for them to gain... So what merit is there for them to gain in eliminating all of civilization? What happened to Bart's face? Is it some kind of hatred for those humans who have survived? Of course not. 
Those people who were created and assimilated as parts of Deus would not have such intentions. Try to remember what Ali, when she become me when she became Miyang, said. The creations of God will someday be a hindrance. That is why they must be eliminated. Yes, that is why Merkava is being used to begin the destruction. But Deus is not following its programming of exterminating all of civilization. The Seraphs, which are terminal interface weapons of Deus, are using their bodies, composed of nanomachines, to absorb massive numbers of people, regardless of whether they are dead or alive. That is so disgusting. It is not discriminating between the mutant and non-mutant people. This is highly peculiar. The fact that the people who are meant to be destroyed are being taken as t taken in as well, that is the absolute opposite of what it is supposed to be doing. Maybe there aren't enough parts. That is unlikely. Aside from those bodies that were destined to be parts for it, Deus, who has already acquired the abilities of the nanomachines, can just about use any material. There's some anime or something? Where something like needs parts and it keeps trying, keeps like just like killing people to create parts for itself? What am I thinking of? And it's like not enough parts or something. What is that? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm pretty sure it's like some kind of popular anime, I just can't think what it is. It's gonna bug me. Anyway. To construct its body, it is obvious it has other intentions in mind. Those intentions, Krillin has called Deus the Mother. If God is the Mother, then those motives are coming from the Great Mother. Are you talking about the wave thing? Impeding the growth of its child, enveloping it, to bring the child back to the womb to become one with it. That is its motive. Such a program does not exist within its design, though. Yeah, because like, it was like talking to Faye and saying, like, you you need to come here to help us rescue Ellie or whatever. <laughs> what I just said made no, made no sense. But I know what I mean. I know what I meant. That's all that matters. It was probably given this unique will by someone. Yeah, it was given... Yeah, by... Faye, who was the contact. Either from Ellie, who has merged with the Deus, or... Either way, it doesn't change the fact that we have to fight. Why is Faye not just saying? Okay. Regardless of what their intentions are, the problem is how we're supposed to deal with them. You think we can do it in our current state? The secret battleship Excalibur will also take part in the final battle. Oh, that's where we are. Additionally, the military potential of all the surface forces will assemble here. Wow. That's going to be quite the battle. Even if we can put together a massive force, we still have the problem with the main armament of the Merkava. We need to know how to take that out, as long as we don't do that. Merkava's ultra-long-range cannon has the ability to vaporize any substance. On top of that, they have a barrier around their perimeter that nullifies all attacks. We've fought against the Merkava many times to try to stop its onslaught. However, we cannot even get close. Hence, we have to withdraw every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Damn it! No matter how much we want to save Ali, if we can't get inside the Merkava, it's meaningless. I need to have a drink. Ooh. Ah, so good! Hey, so good. Oh man, I haven't seen Sigurd in ages. I named my dog in um in uh, Stardew Valley Sigurd. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to know that. Anyway, <clears throat> to add to that, there is the problem of those serifs. They function as the terminal interfaces weapons. Excuse me, you said it wrong. They function as the terminal interface weapons for close defense. I can easily say that their attack power is equivalent to the Omnigate class. They, hmm. they even have the re regenerative ability due to the nanomachines. Don't be concerned about that. 
I was able to obtain some data from Xenogears. You see, Xenogears has mutagenically evolved due to its contact with Zohar. I can't remember his voice, but it's this now. Using that data, all of your new gears ought to be completed soon. Additionally, all the other weapons and armaments are being modified to implement the disassembler device. Disassembler device? In contrast to the nano assemblers, which create matter to repair with, the disassemblers. You mean disassemblers? Have the ability to dismantle or destroy matter. Or destroy matter. They can even deactivate the nanomachines' restoring ability by disengaging their repair programs. This should be sufficiently effective even against the Deus Seraphs. Alright, even if we can deal with the angels, just how are we gonna deal with that Merkava? We can't even get close to that thing. To, 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 to the thing. There is no such thing as a perfect defense. There is a way. Look over here. Oh. Merkava's main gun requires a one point... That ship looks like the one that Ellie, well not Ellie, that Sophia like flew into. Anyway. Merkava's main gun requires a 1.2 second interval to reload because of its tremendous output. Upon firing, although it is only sectional, there will be a portion of the barrier that will be opened. There is a 1.87 second delay before the barrier reforms in that area. If we can use this window of time to target and destroy that cannon, it will be, it will be possible to close in on it. If we can get close enough, we can break through with gravitational spatial correction. Alright. Well, this is the rough idea. Unfortunately, we don't have such a long-range cannon. Cannon that that could acquire a target in such a brief time frame. I'm sure Bart will make one. So what you're saying is we just need to shut that annoying cannon up, right? Oh, Bart. You have such a way with words. <laughs> you want to go head on into Merkava? Now you're being reckless again. That's suicide. No, listen. We're not going to just rush in. The Yggdrasil 4 and this Excalibur are also equipped with bar- How many Yggdrasils like are there? <laughs> are also equipped with barriers. That's what we'll use. Although only for a short time, we can withstand a direct hit from Merkava's main cannon. Then we can close in and watch for that part of the barrier to go down and then destroy the cannon. I thought the cannon was like able to destroy like everything. How long will our barrier last? About 20 or so seconds. That's all. Wouldn't matter how fast we fly, in that amount of time we'll be without a barrier before we can get within firing range. And those numbers are valid only if the generator is at full drive, right? I all of a sudden like Faye a lot more than I used to. <laughs> Mostly because he knows how to talk now. Because he's like he's whole now. It's so weird though that like Eda's in there somewhere. Well, um, well, not really. Like Eda's him. Like he's you know it's part of him. It's just like I guess we all have an Eid in our in in us somewhere. But you know it's just it's just weird. Like I I keep expecting Eid to just like show up because it's like so hard to because they look so different. It's so hard to envision them as the same person. Anyway. And those numbers are valid only if the generator is at full drive, right? We can only get those numbers if we sacrifice all other output and propulsion. I'm not suggesting we go in with guns blazing, knowing we're gonna lose. We're going to physically put a lid on it, directly. Yeah, what? As you've said, the Yggdrasil 4 or Excalibur's barrier can't sufficiently defend against Merkava's attack. At least with one generator, that is. Meaning... Meaning, we can defend against the Merkava with twice the amount of time, 40 seconds, if we couple the two generators together. This way we can make it into the heart of Merkava. Then... What about the propulsion? Just hear me out. Oh. 
I prepared this ahead of time. This is what we do. First we transform my my Yggdrasil into heavy assault mode and load it onto the Excalibur so we can couple the generators. By doing that we can reduce the energy usage down to just supporting the hull- wait wait wait. By doing that we can reduce the energy usage down to just supporting the hull of the ship and generating the barrier. This will allow most of the energy to be devoted to generating the barrier. Next, shift the barrier to full front and focus it to a single point where their main cannon will make it strike. Now for movement. First off, we develop a barrier by engaging Excalibur's generator to maximum power. For propulsion during that time, we'll install on the Yggdrasil those large solid rockets we got from the ruins of the mass driver. <laughs> Since when do we get rockets from there, but okay. When Excalibur's barrier expires, we'll use the Yggdrasil Force generator to develop a barrier. Then we'll also detach the solid rockets and shift the Excalibur into conventional flight. Using this method, we can get right in Medikova's face. After it fires, it'll be defenseless. I really hope I don't have to actually control this and it will just be a cutscene because... <laughs> yeah. During this time, we'll block the muzzle of Merkava's, Merkava's cannon with Excalibur's bow ram. What? Whatever, I'm sure Bart knows what he's talking about. Upon which we should have... Upon which... <laughs> it's so... It's so not like Bart to say upon which. We should have 0 0.67 seconds. With the cannon fire of the Excalibur, we'll destroy the Yggdrasil Falls Slave Generator and incapacitate. I really wish we were listening to the, the Yggdrasil theme. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess this one's a bit more uplifting, but... With the cannon fire of the Excalibur, we'll destroy the Yggdrasil Falls Slave Generator and incapacitate the Medicaba along the way, and then we break through. We're gonna die. Is Haru piloting the ship right now? Also, I'm so glad to see that she's alive. <laughs> oh. That's what the plan's all about. The combination of the barriers of both ships, storming the Merkava, the timing of the cannon fire of the Excalibur, these are all going to be crucial. Mess up any one of these and the consequences are going to be severe. Hence, it'll be necessary to have both crews in sync with each other. That's why I'd like to play Sig in command of the Excalibur. I have no qualms with that. <laughs> I like how he's just like, yeah, all right. He's not like, oh no, why do you choose me? What do you think, Queen? Will you lend us your battleship, Queen? <laughs> uh. Since there appears to be no other alternative, let us go with that. Please use it as you see fit. Oh, Stan has sent to say. I saw his foot tapping. But are we not cutting it uncomfortably close? When you calculate the arrival time and the barrier generation time, you will see what I mean. One minor mishap will put us in a situation where we could run out of barrier power before our arrival. Also, we will we, we will be devoting both generators to keeping up the to to keeping the barriers up. Won't that leave us without perimeter defenses? We won't stand a chance if we get engaged by the Seraph Angels on our way to Merkava. We'll hold them off. You can count on us. You guys just concentrate on taking out that main cannon. Thanks. We're depending on you. Already. Already. If Already everywhere else has been taken out. This is the only place it's left. This is going to be the true final battle. Ooh, exciting! Does that mean that Bart's not going to be on our party? In our party? <laughs> I want him in our party. Oh. Ah, good choice of song. We set out to silence God's Ark, Merkaba. Please don't tell me this is not going to be a cutscene. Please. I need this to be a cutscene. We set out to silence God's Ark, Merkaba, which is the epitome. Is that how you spell epitome? <laughs> I've like, never like had to write it out before. Of offensive and defensive power, and then storm inside it. We initiated the operation to destroy Zohar. 
Um, I really want to see Merkava properly, like, in the world. Like, it's really hard to imagine what the world looks like at the moment, or where it is in the world. I guess it's in the snowy area, but, like, or just how big it is, all this kind of stuff. It's like, oh, I wish I could see it. Uh, just to destroy Zohar. Oh, Naru. Oh! Yes, cutscene. Oh, what's it like a CGI cutscene? Oh, no, wait, is it anime? And, um, like, an animated, or is it... CD. I think it's CDI. Whatever. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's terrifying. <sighs> oh my god, it's like a gear inside a gear inside a gear. Oh my goodness. I look like something from Final Fantasy VIII. Whoa. Oh my god. Ooh, now it looks like Chronicles. Ooh, so pretty. Oh god. That can't be! Secondary explosion? Oh no! I should have known better, what a miscalculation! The explosion was too big, it reacted with the main condenser right under the main cannon. And induced a secondary explosion. How could I have been so stupid? You mean, we overdid it? Why did I not realize it sooner? This means, we might have... Oh no, Ellie! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Why is it saying, oh my gosh? Hey, if there was any time to swear, it would be now. <laughs> what a blaspheme. Oh my gosh, Ellie! Well, what is it this time? Hey, Satan! What more is going to happen? Something is happening in the center of Merkava. What could it be? Oh, these cutscenes are so pretty! Holy shit, what is happening? Ew, no, I don't need to see this. Is this Chronocross now? <laughs> Ew, no, I don't need this in my life. Ew, I'm disturbed. Oh, oh, it's, it's, uh, okay. Holy shit. Are you petrifying the entire land? Good going. What have you done? What's this music that's playing? It's like the world map theme. Or... Is it the world map theme? It's like... Why is it such happy music? At the... <laughs> why is there happy... Whatever, anyway. <clears throat> At that time, the earth quaked and shook. And from the location where the Merkava crashed, a giant object appeared. It was Deus' final form. This is such a strange... Why is it this song that's playing? Like, it's not like everything is fine now. Why is a song playing? <laughs> okay. It was Deus' final form. The Medicava was merely its vessel. Well, it was an arc, so sure. 
Deus evolved through the use of Krillian's nanomachines into a planetary scale weapon and began terraforming. Great, thanks Krillian. It was attempting to convert this entire planet into a weapon. I just realized that Krillian is like 500 years old. Because all that stuff happened 500 years ago. With, um, Solaris and Shevat and uh, Lacan and stuff. Interesting. Anyway. I assume he just used well, well no, yeah, he said that he that he like had the nano machines that like allowed him to regenerate, but just anyway <clears throat> that's old. Um it was attempting to convert this entire planet into a weapon. Great. We retreated back to the can you imagine a planet as a weapon? It's a bit overkill, isn't it? We retreated back to the base at the snow at the snow plains that we never got to go to to form a new strategy. We decided to go back into days. Time is running out for us. Why this song? It, it, it totally took away from the scene. Shame on the music editor person, which I assume wasn't Yasunori. He was probably just the guy who... Oh, I guess it's the song of the place we're in. That's just, like, that's the wrong music. I disapprove. The music here, where we are now, sure, but not, not during that scene. It, 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 like, made it seem like, oh, everything is fine now. It's upsetting. Okay, let me, uh... God, what am I doing? <sighs> I guess I... Because we can't use our gears anymore, can we? So... What do we have? I don't really wonder what... I don't know if we really need to equip anything. Just check. Yeah, I don't... I don't think we really need to equip anything. Unless we got something new, which we wouldn't have, because I just checked. Okay. I will save though, I guess. It does save. I'll just walk there really slowly, it's fine. 